A lot of people think React 18 broke a lot of apps, and that is because of this double render on the use effect. When I first discovered this use effect, what happened was my animations did break. Uh, when I just, I, I used GSAP, I had React 18, and all of a sudden the animation just stopped working. And I was like, why? And there's been a quite a stir in the community about this React 18 double render on the use effect with the empty dependency array. So in this video, what I'm planning to do is one, show you how to solve the issue, what is actually going on with the double render and what React is trying to get developers to do. And the fact that we as developers actually have it wrong and I think React has it right. So let's get in and let's talk about it. If you like React, CSS, front end animation, and Next.js, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. So when I first stumbled on, well, React 18 was released not too long ago. And what, what it is now is what they're doing is double rendering. So what I have here, let's take a look at how this works, right? So first, if you have React 18, it comes with React strict mode. So let's assume and let's take off React strict mode. This is what we assume as developers would happen with use effect with an empty dependency array. So removing React strict mode in index.js, I have here just some basic boilerplate stuff. I do have a GSAP animation. You don't need to know the ins and, out, ins and outs of GSAP. It's just a tween that goes from, takes one H1 element that's right here and has a, a, a ref for it and just takes it from opacity zero to opacity one. And then over here, we have a console log dot render with an empty dependency array. So what did we assume would happen? So if we refresh this, so I'm gonna close out the terminal, I'll refresh. My animation hits, console log dot render happens once. That is what we are used to prior to React 18. But ever since we started, you know, once we implemented React 18, all of a sudden, we didn't know what was going on. And what's happening is React is coming with React strict mode by default. Uh, and then, oops, let me get rid of that. And by default, React strict mode, look at that, all of a sudden it just refreshed. And with React strict mode, I have two renders on my use effect. As you can see, console log happened twice and my animation broke. Now, the, all animations don't break. It just so happens that first render animations are breaking because there is a double render and it doesn't have time to catch itself up. So it's breaking before it even, you know, starts. So essentially we're like, well, React 18 messed everything up, but let's figure out what actually is going on. First of all, what React 18 is doing intentionally is actually double rendering the use effect on the empty dependency array. That's a fact in strict mode only. And I'll show you later in the video, if you think that you're gonna solve the problem by removing strict mode, I'll show you that that's not the answer. So they're double rendering in React strict mode and they have a reason for that. If you check out the blogs and all the notes by Dan Abramov and what's, and finally they have released some interesting uh, information, it's because they wanna catch states that are going to be, if the component is going to mount quickly, they want to catch this double render. And I think it's quite opinionated, but what they're doing is trying to catch this double render and show you what will happen if you double render this quickly. So the first thing I want to talk about is a misconception, and then I'll show how we can solve this. The misconception that we as developers have with the use effect and the empty dependency array. We think that the use effect and the empty dependency array means that the use effect should only execute once for the lifetime of the app. And that is what's wrong. It's not that it should execute once <laughs> forever. The truth is with React, the use effect with the empty dependency array happens once every time the component mounts, not once when the app loads, right? It's every time your component mounts. So if it mounts twice, it will execute twice, right? So what React 18 is doing is saying, we're going to mount your components twice in development mode, just so you can see what's happening when your component mounts twice, because it's very likely that your components are gonna mount twice. Also in their notes, they're going to be planning to release some other interesting function where things will, will maintain state on quick mounts. But for example, if you were to open up a page, right, and you have a user effect empty dependency array, leave the, leave the page or do something else, come back, you're, you're, even if you have a user effect empty dependency array, it's going to happen twice because 
um, your component mounts, unmounts, and then comes back and then mounts again. And that has nothing to do with React strict mode. That's just the nature of the use effect with the empty dependency array. So again, that was also my misconception. But again, that's the first misconception that we want to squash is that it's not that it's supposed to happen once. The truth is it happens once every time your component mounts. So what React 18 is doing in strict mode is purposefully mounting your component twice and that's why you get a double render so again what's happening here on refresh is that it's mounting the use effect unmounting and then mounting again so and the purpose is to show you that they're going to be maintaining this sort of thing and they want developers to get used to quick if you, what happens to your use effect if it mounts twice because they're going to be wanting to maintain state and do things in the future so we, it's something we have to deal with and the thing is, a lot of us are dealing with this because we don't have good cleanup functions. So let's look at what we can do here. So in ex for this example, we have our use effect and our GSAP is loading from and it's not getting to finish and it's rendering twice. So what we're supposed to do is because let's say, for example, you have a database connection and you're loading your database connection. If your if your user comes and mounts a component and you get a database connection and then they do something else and you don't close that database connection, right? And then they remount the component, they come back to the component, another database connection is gonna load. So what, again, what React is saying is you need to close these, I wanna, it's quite opinionated, but what they're saying is we're going to mount your thing twice in development mode so you can see that you, you got to close these, pro they want you to see what problems could occur if your component happens twice. So here we found the first example of, of our animation breaking when the thing happens twice. So what can we do? So if we close this out, we'll keep React strict mode. The idea is that I have here um, another, one, uh, another demo. I'm going to close this um, use effect out, which would, right? And then we have here the second one. And what our idea here is that if we close this out, is that this is double rendering, right? You see the console log, right? Because it's rendering twice in React strict mode, but we destroyed the animation on return. So the return or the anonymous return function inside the use effect, what it does is if you check the 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 Google, the not the Google, if you check the React documentation, is that this will run when the component unmounts and then before it mounts again. So the idea is that now that we started this animation, in the first example, we never really killed the animation or it stopped it, so it just tried to execute again and it couldn't because it didn't complete itself. But in this case, it is running and then when the component unmounts, which again, React is doing purposefully, it's unmounting, um, it's again double rendering it's rendering unmounting mounting again that's what strict mode is doing we are destroying the animation and then when it comes back we're good because the animation is destroyed and what happened just happened already so then we don't have to worry right so if we refresh here um, look at this again and you can see a double render, but you can see here that our hello world actually executed because we returned so the idea here is that what you want to do is whatever is happening in your use effect, you want to make sure that you close out of it or do the opposite or particularly in an animation reset itself. If you have an event listener and you want to stop the event listener, that's the idea is that's the idea behind the double render, the mount, unmount, mount in strict mode, because again, they want you to get used to that. I think this is really key. And this is something I want to show because it's something we as developers don't pay attention to. So again, with animation, you'll see this with frame or motion. You see this with GSAP. A lot of a lot of immediate render animations have broke. So you want to reset the animation in whatever your library is. If you're using just plain old JavaScript, you just want to reset the animation to what it was. So then it just on the unmount and mount, it's already reset and it can restart. So that's the second thing. Now, the other thing that I want to point out. If you think that you were going to outsmart React and say, you know what, strict mode is causing the problem, I'm going to turn off strict mode. Well, I want to demonstrate what happens when you turn off strict mode and why React is doing the double rendering in the first place. And I'll show you this example. So if we close out of this, right, we solve this solution in React strict mode, right? We got this to work. But let's say, you know what, we're going to say, I want to keep the way it was and I'm going to go ahead and keep my 
double render, right? Sorry, not the double render. I'm gonna take off strict mode and I wanna leave it the way it is. So I'm gonna hide strict mode. Now, if we go back to our first use effect, right, which didn't work when it was in strict mode, right? It should work now because now we gotta, we go back to the first. We got the only one render and our, our immediate render animation works because you know what? We turned off React strict mode, which is not recommended. Well, let me show you why that's not recommended and why Danny Bramovin and the team is saying, you know, don't turn off strict mode because the purpose here is to help you. So we think we've solved this problem. Now let's see what happens if we try to get this if someone tries to immediately remount this component, which is very common, what will happen? So I'm going to create a button that's going to re-render the component and then on click, it's going to depend on that re-render so I can demonstrate how to re-render this component. So what we're going to do here, here is we'll take this, I have this here, but I'm going to uh, put it up here. So we created a use effect, uh, sorry, not a use effect, use state called started, set started. So I wanna say, hey, did this start? And we have a function called remount component, set started. So whenever this runs, I just want it to do the opposite. All this is just doing is creating some anonymous state and it's just reversing itself, some basic, a basic state. And then on the button click, I'm just gonna have it do that. So let's take this button, let's create a button down below, which I've already created. And on click, it's running this remount function. I'm just calling it remount comp you call it whatever you want but it's just again it's re you know it's doing this function just reversing itself so i'm going to have this use effect depend on this on this uh state so if we refresh here all right we've outwitted we've outwitted you know react strict mode and you see it works but if i re-render all right it's worked re-render fine now what if i do a quick re-render you saw this broke right so let's try this again. Renders, finds, waiting, but what about a quick re-render? What about if someone leaves the page, comes back? What about if there's some quick mounting, unmounting, mounting? That's what React is 18 and the future of React is gonna try to solve. So they want us to get ahead of the curve and show you what happens uh, in doing this only in, in development mode for you. So look, I re-rendered quick, everything broke, right? I lost, I lost this because there's been a quick mount and I basically essentially am mimicking what React in strict mode is doing. It's just doing it twice. And now I've done it twice manually to show you, hey, this can happen to your component in production and your app will still break whether you have strict mode on or off. So let's refresh this again. Now let's show how to solve this in this production mode, which again, strict mode is already doing, but same thing. We have to basically reset the animation on the return so we can fix this quick re-render, which strict mode is doing manually and in production, I'm mimicking right now. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what I have here. So we have a return function. And again, this goes for whatever it is you might have going on. You just have to do the opposite or reset, reset whatever it is back to its original state. So what I have here is a return and this is GSAP's uh, method of, you know, just, it, you can do this with whatever it is, but in this case, GSAP, if it's frame or motion, you do whatever the reset is. It's a dot kill on it, and it's a, and I'm resetting the state. It was, I'm changing it to zero, but on the end of, on this unmounting, I'm setting it to one, and that's what React is recommending in the notes. Reset the things, and then start it up again. So, I will refresh this, right? We'll run this, run this. I'm gonna do a quick, look at that. No matter how, I don't know if you can't see, I'm, uh, you might hear my click, right? Hear this click right here, I'll refresh it. Right? No matter what I do, I can't break this, right? Because on the, on, on the return, on unmount, I'm saying, hey, just destroy the animation, reset it, and then every time you're re-rendering this, this is, you know, restarting itself. So we're fine, right? So again, we're solving um, essentially this re-render thing. So again, now if we go back to uh, strict mode, uh, what React 18 is doing here is saying, you know what, we're going to be doing that manually for you just so you can pay attention to your app and what it could be doing, right? We just wanna go ahead and I've already fixed this problem, right? So they just wanna say, hey, you know, again, keep the strict mode on. And I hope you guys have understood this. This is definitely something that's, again, caused quite a stir in the community and it was very confusing, but I think if you look at all the notes, I think Danny Ramon has released um, in the beta.reactjs.org really good explanation as to why they're doing this, what problem they're trying to solve, and what to look for in the future. So 
keep React strict mode on, uh, and that's number one. Number two, use the return or the anonymous function in your use effects to make sure you reset or you destroy whatever it is that if it starts and it remounts quick, it can break your app anyway. So just make sure you are kind of resetting whatever you have going on in your initial use effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one.